What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new iOS 7 jailbreak tweak called 7 Folder Relayout. Now what this tweak allows you to do is actually change up your folders as you can see to a 4x4 layout. So you can open that up, and you can actually put folders inside of folders directly, just like this, and drop it right in. So there's also a lot of other things that you can do with this tweak and let's just jump into the hidden setting 7 which actually this tweak requires and it does install automatically if you don't already have it so you just tap on your uh, springboard settings right here and then we're going to tap on folders and then it's going to bring you to the 7 folder relayout settings so here's where you can toggle on and off the 4x4 layout you can change that back to the 3x3 if you don't like the 4x4 as well as the wallpaper zoom animation so that was actually turned off and you can see when we open it up you can see the wallpaper zooming in in the background. If you don't like that, then we can turn that off. And you can see the wallpaper doesn't move. Did not mean to click on that. All right, so we can go back into uh, springboard settings here. And really, the max folder depth, I didn't really, I couldn't tell a difference between uh, changing this. It only goes from 1 to 20, but I really couldn't tell much of a difference. Also the manual grid folder in folder, basically what this is doing that I've noticed is it's showing you that the folder is actually in the folder. So usually you're not going to see that outline, that grid of the folder inside that folder unless this is turned on. So you can see when I turn it back off, you can't even see the actual folder. So you can just barely see the icons that are inside of that folder. Also you have uh, some blur settings that you can mess with if you turn on the blur folder background. I didn't really have a lot of success with this. I wasn't really uh, happy with how this worked, but you can see you can change the blur background alpha as well as the background style. So if we wanted to change it to a black tint blur, then you can do that. But one thing that I didn't like, you guys probably aren't going to like either, if we load this up, you can see up here at the top, it doesn't load up right when you open it up. You can see that it loads right in after it's all the animation is completely done. It's a little easier to see. If I change this, let's change it to a white tint. And then we open it up. So you can see it loading in after the animation. And I'm, I don't know, that just really bugs me. So I'm not a big fan of the blur folder settings in this. But other than that, it's actually a pretty cool tweak. I'm a big fan of the 4x4 folder layout. I definitely think that looks pretty good. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.